welcome back. It's nice to see you again. In today's Pixelmator tutorial version update, I'm going to show you the latest changes that they made to adjustment layers and effect layers, which is something that those of us that have used Photoshop are familiar with, but is new to Pixelmator and it makes a huge difference. So let me take this picture of the Italian Dolomites and use this as my example. Now it's really common with a picture like this that I want to split the adjustments I'm making so the top and the bottom half have different adjustments. So let's say for example I wanted to do this in the previous version of Pixelmator. What I'd have to do is duplicate the layer and then come in here and make all the adjustments that I wanted to make. Once I have something that looks nice and contrasty then I would apply a layer mask grab my gradient tool and dump it on the layer mask to split it. And so now you can see I have the adjustment on the top and the original on the bottom. Now that's not too much trouble, but the problem is, is if I ever make an adjustment to the layer underneath, maybe I crop or resize or just maybe nudge it a little bit. Now suddenly these are off and I have to worry about keeping these two layers in sync. No longer in the latest version. Let's take a look at how you do it. Now, the first thing that you'll probably notice here is that the layers panel looks quite a bit different. And that's because if we come up to this new button here, we have the option to pick color adjustments. Color adjustments apply the adjustments to all the layers underneath them. So now that I have this layer, I can come over here and I can make my exposure adjustments just like I did in the previous version. And I can apply a mask, which again is the same thing press G to get my gradient tool and drag out a gradient to fill in the mask. And now I've got an effect that looks the same as before. But the great thing is, is that I can do things with this bottom layer and not mess up my effect. So I can maybe resize, move it around, and you can see that the mask is still just applying to the top half of the canvas. I've got my lighter shades up here at the top and a little bit darker at the bottom. The great thing is, is it's not just color adjustments. I can also do this with effects. So let's create an effects layer and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick a blur effect. So Gaussian blur is an easy one, but we're going to mimic uh, out of focus effects. So you could pick a different one if you like the look of the others. I'm just going to add a mask here on this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press G to get the gradient tool and I'm going to drag it from the top to the bottom, maybe put a little bit of an angle on it. And you can see that it just applies the blur effect to everything underneath it. Now the great thing is because this is an adjustment layer, I can come in here and I can tweak the effect afterwards, maybe just the blur amount, and I can still rearrange and move the layer underneath without messing up my effect. This is a huge game changer for people that are used to working with adjustment layers of all kinds in Photoshop or other editing programs, so really excited for this update. There's a lot more in this version, so if you want to see a tutorial on how to use all of the new features in the latest version of Pixelmator, please let me know in the comments below. If you are new to the channel and you would like to see me reproduce a title, an effect, a transition, or anything else that you've seen a YouTuber or maybe a TV show or video do, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make that happen for you. And as always, I appreciate your support. It means the world to me and I'll catch you on the next one.